comedy slacks, lazy comedy slacks, tedious setups, predictable gags, lazy boring comedy slacks, lazy boring comedy slacks. And this week on Lazy Comedy Slags, the art of the great British sitcom. Now, American sitcom writers waste their time thinking up complex characters and plots. All you need for a great sitcom is a title that is a pun based around the situation of the com, or, if you can't think of one, the name of one of the characters. And the rest will write itself. That's right. Now, all British sitcoms are thought up by the BBC head of sitcoms, Geoffrey Merkin Warbeck. There he is there. <laughs> who lives literally in an ivory tower in Oxford. What, a tower made of ivory? Yeah, which plucked from elephants' howling faces. Oh. And <laughs> here are some of the sitcoms currently in production at the BBC. First one here. Roll Reversal. Ian Roll is a driving instructor. Ian Reversal is a baker. Due to some kind of accident, they're forced to swap jobs with hilarious consequences. That's all there is to <laughs> Simple and brilliant, Stu. Knock Seinfeld into a cocked hat. Uh, here's another one. Pie in the Sky. Uh, Ian Pie is the landlord of the Sky Pub. In an attempt to attract custom, each week he buys a different giant pie, which goes rotten and ironically scares the public away. With hilarious consequences. <laughs> My Cup Upstairs. Ian Mai lives in a flat. His upstairs neighbour borrows one of his cups and then doesn't return it. The series details Ian Mai's contrived and failed attempts to get back the cup that is rightfully his. Sounds like a winner to me, Stu. Uh, here's another one, Babes in the Wood. Uh, this is two babies live in a piece of wood. Uh, simple, brilliant, isn't it, Stu? Yep. Ian Chalk. Uh, this is called Chalk and Cheese. Ian Chalk and Ian Cheese are two men. They are very different. As different, literally, as chalk and cheese. Uh, consequently, they don't really get on, but occasionally they do something which makes them realise they're more similar than they initially thought, and then Ian Cheese falls into a stream to break the seriousness of the moment. Very good. <laughs> Finally, for the moment, Bent Coppers. Uh, Ian and Ian Bent are brothers, and they're both policemen. One is corrupt, and one is gay. <laughs> Both of them are afflicted by curvature of the spine. <laughs> and they're made of copper. <laughs> they're robots in the future. And we're bringing you more of these sitcoms from the discard pile throughout the show. <laughs> uh, another of our sitcoms here. This one's called I on the Ball. Uh, Adam I, who used to do the video game reviews on Live and Kicking, <laughs> loses his two legs in an accident. Zoe Ball feels guilty that he was sacked and so offers to carry him around on her back. <laughs> Thus, he is literally eye on the ball. <laughs> and there's a note here, if Zoe not available, Johnny Ball definitely is. <laughs> Some new sitcoms again in development at the BBC. Um, this one's called Fruit and Nut. Ian Fruit, a flamboyant elderly raconteur, shares a flat with Ian Nutt, a dangerous schizophrenic who has escaped from Broadmoor. <laughs> Ian Fruit can only eat nuts, Ian Nutt can only eat fruit, <laughs> but they're both allergic to fruit and nut chocolate. As Ian Nutt is mad, he always secretly puts fruit and nut chocolate in everything they eat, with fatal consequences. There's another one there. Honey, I swallowed some semen. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> Rick Moranis plays a hapless professor who accidentally turns himself into a killer whale. Oh, right. Each week, he attacks a ship and eats some sailors. <laughs> And then he gets off the bus, nice. 